guys, uh, it's glad to see you again here. I'm very happy to see you again. Um, today, we are going to talk about a particular topic that we really enjoy, and that topic is food. Okay, so we're going to talk about different food habits, healthy habits, and healthy habits in a very general way to combine it with grammar. Okay, so today's unit is called food and tenses. Okay. So, in order to start talking about this, we are going to think about different situations, okay? So, there are many, but the first one is, how often do you eat out? Let's start with you, Tiziana. How often do you eat out? Uh, mm, I go out uh, to eat. Uh, often uh, uh, at the weekend because uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm more free. I see. But I I think that it is only necessary for you to say I eat out. It is not necessary to say I go and eat out. No, okay. you just say I eat out <coughs> this and this. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Um, now, when we have the question, how often, generally you answer with what? What do you use to answer for that? Guys, do you know? No? Okay. No problem. That's why I'm here, to remind you. So, guys, every time we have the question, how often, yes, which is obviously... Uh, related to frequency, yes? So when we have this question, we can answer with one of the frequency adverbs. Do you remember what are the adverbs of frequency? Every day, often, rarely. Uh -huh. Absolutely, okay. So. We have adverbs of frequency of different percentages of frequency. We have 100%, we have 80%, we have 50%, we have 30, and we have 0%. Yes, so this is just a, a review, okay? So for the 100 years, absolutely, we use always 80%. Uh, often. often. Yes, you can say often, yes, or you can also say usually. Yes, it's the your synonyms for 50%. Uh, what do you think? Sometimes. Absolutely, yes, sometimes. 30%. Uh, rarely, hardly uh -huh. ever. Very rarely. Good. You can say rarely, rarely. yes. Often. Any other possibility? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Very good. Hardly ever. Very good. Okay. And zero percent? Never. 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 Remember that for the pronunciation, you can choose to say never or never. Okay. It depends on, on the, on the uh, accent that you prefer. So when I say how often, you say, well, I always do this, or I never do that. Okay, so that's how we answer how often. So I'm going to ask the question again, all right? Let's start with you, Tiziana, again, how often do you eat out? I eat out uh, often. Often. Okay. You can say that, yes, I often eat out. Very good. I often eat out. Yes, very good. Another question could be for you, Marcia. How often do you eat out? I can see, to see um, not very often. Not very often. That's absolutely right. Uh -huh. okay. So you not can say, often. I don't, I, I go out not very often. Oh. Yes, or I don't go out very often. I yes. can't go out, okay. 
very often, yes. But that's absolutely right. Okay, good. Let's continue with another question. Okay. Are you eating healthy now? Let's go with you, Gab. Oh, no, it's not Gabriele. Um, Can you remember healthy, your name, please? Cosa significa healthy? Healthy. Healthy is, uh, for example, doing exercise. In this case, in this case, healthy, eating healthy is, for example, vegetables, fruits. Yes. For example, unhealthy is hamburger, a hot dog. Yes. Okay, thank you. I, okay, good. I don't uh, eat um, healthy now. Very good. So we have the word, we have this word now, okay? This, this is a, a very peculiar word here, now. So when we are saying this, we have to answer with the ing forms, okay? So for example, and I do a line here that say, I am eating healthy now. Yes, in this moment, right now, okay? So remember that you have to use the form of I am, okay? You have to use the verb to be here and the ing form or the verb, yes? Present. Why? Because you have the word now. Yes? But this is the question? No, no, no. I'm just, oh. I, I'm, I am asking if you understand. Okay. Yes. 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 Is it clear? Okay, perfect, perfect. So, I'm going to ask you again. Are you eating healthy now? I don't remember your name. Uh, it's not Gabriele. Gabriele is your son. No, I'm not uh, eating uh, healthy. Very good. You say, no, I am not eating healthy. Yes, healthy now. Okay? okay. Remember the pronunciation. Very nice. Okay, good. Sorry, so, one question. Now, so uh, is uh, in this moment or in this period? In this exact moment. Okay, so the present I, continuous uh, form. Absolutely, yes, that is the name of the tense, the present continuous, okay? okay. So we use this, we use this form when we are talking about something that happens in this exact moment, all right? Mm -hmm. And this one is more about the reality, but we're going to see that in one moment, okay? And let's continue with another question, okay? Let's go to the third situation. What's your favorite cuisine? What is your favorite cuisine? Let's go with you, but you're not Tommaso. That is not your name. I don't remember mm. your name. What is your it's, name? Uh, I'm Laura. Laura, uh, please. It's a very difficult choice. I'm... Uh, <laughs> I, I love uh, to eat, uh, but uh, Chinese is a good uh, cuisine for me. Very good. Okay, excellent. All right. So when we have this question here, what's your favorite cuisine or what's your favorite food, etc., we answer with a normal phrase. Of simple present. So what you say, for example, could be, well, uh, I like, for example, Chinese cuisine, mm -hmm. or I love Chinese cuisine, okay? Or I prefer, okay? Mm -hmm. This one is also simple present, okay? Just say, just take that, this into account for the explanation that we're going to do. Okay, very good. 
I'm going to ask a question to someone else. What about you, Marcia? What's your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine is um, the Italian food. Oh, okay, Italian cuisine. Cuisine, yes. Italian uh -huh. cuisine. Okay, very good, thank you very much. Last question of this situation. Are you craving something right now? Can I ask a question? Of course, Tiziana, tell me. Uh, favorite uh, is uh, correct, uh, uh, right uh, in this uh, mode. Favorite, uh, favorite. Favorite. Are you talking about the spelling or the pronunciation? The, sp the spelling. The spelling is good. The spelling okay. is good. Uh, yes. um, I can write uh, this, um, this, uh, this word, uh, favorite of and also favorite. Ah, okay, oh. that's a very nice question. Yes, of course, you can write it in both ways. Okay. You know that in English, and for all of you guys to know, in English we have different, uh, let's say, types of English. Yes, we have American, we have British, Australian, Indian. Okay, too many. So when we have, for example, British English, this as a, as a, in British English, uh, we write the word like this. Favorite. Okay. Yes. And favorite. American. Favorite. Okay. Yes. And there are many uh, other words. For example, when you're going to write uh, in British form, let's say the word center. Yes, like the center of the earth or the center of the planet, etc. In British English, we usually write it like this, center, okay? Like R-E. And in American English, we would write it like this, so center. Center, okay. Easy? All right, so that is for many, that is for many words, okay? But yes. Good, okay, that's a good question, Titiana. Thank you very much for your question. Let's continue. Oh, this one. I like this question here. Are you craving something right now? Uh, are, 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 do we understand the verb craving? No. No? No idea? Okay, so craving is when we want to eat something very badly. For example, pregnant women. Yes, women with babies. Yes, they have cravings. No? For example, in this moment, mm, I really want to eat, uh, let's see what, mm, I really want to eat a banana with chocolate. Yes? Mm -hmm. I die for eating that. That is craving. Okay. Anhelar. Es la palabra, anhelar. Oh, I speak Spanish. Okay, uh, no. Uh, I would say antojo. Antojarse. Ah, okay. Okay. Antojarse. Desear mucho. Yes, yes. Okay. Antojarse, desear mucho. Okay. Desiderar mucho. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Good. So that is craving. Okay. Not necessarily you have to be pregnant for that. All right. So I have a question, but in this case for you, Laura, are you craving something right now? Mm. Then I I'm craving uh, an ice cream. Mm, because uh, <laughs> it's uh, very hot in Florence. <laughs> oh right, of course. No, oh, yeah, that would be that would be amazing. Any specific flavor? Mm, favorite um, type of ice cream? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, uh, uh, coffee. Coffee. Okay, ah. coffee flavor. <laughs> yes, because when we use the verb craving. It's because we are we want something very specific. Yes, very specific. So you say, okay, so I'm craving a coffee flavored ice cream. Okay. Yes? Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. What about you, Martia? Are you craving something right now? Me too. I uh, I craving uh, uh, 
ice cream. Ice cream. An ice cream. Okay, you're craving an ice cream. Okay, very good. Very delicious. Any specific flavor? Uh, the pistachio. 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 Pistachio flavored ice cream for you. Okay, good. There you go. So here, when I am asking, are you craving something right now? Then I want to use again the present continuous, okay? Because I am talking about something that's happening at the moment, something that is happening right now. So you say, I am craving a coffee ice cream. Or you can be more specific, a coffee flavored ice cream. Okay, so here, again, I am using the verb to be as an auxiliary and the main verb with ing. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you can be much more specific using a time expression. So you can say, for example, in this moment. Okay? Or you can also say right now. You can even use Currently, 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 I am craving a coffee flavored ice cream. Okay, good. Okay. So let's let's be more specific about this. Okay. There are some expressions that we use to talk about right now and to talk about reality. I mean the simple present. Yes, or on a typical day. So. This one, what do you usually have for breakfast? What do you think, guys? Is it for right now or for a typical day? What do you think? Typical day. Why? Because uh, the, uh, it is uh, usually. Good, excellent. So. When you have one of the adverbs of frequency in your sentence, it means that you have to use the simple present, okay? So yes, it talks about a typical day, the reality, the simple present, very good. We have this sentence here. How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Is it for right now or is it about on a typical day? Typical day. Typical day. Why? Uh, because there is uh, a day, so uh, every day. Very good. It also talks about the present. It talks about routines, yes. It talks about frequency, so I use the simple present. Thus, it refers to something used on a typical day. Let's see another expression here. Are you taking any vitamins and, or supplements now? What is it for? Right now or on a typical day? Right now. Right now. Right now. Okay, because we have the expression now. Yeah. And because we have the ing form in the sentence. Okay, so yes, it refers to right now. And finally, we have this expression. Are you trying to cut down anything at the moment? Are right we now, right now. Or is at the moment? At the moment, very good. Now, I want to ask you, uh, are we clear? Do you understand the expression cut down something, maybe? No? no. So for example, I have, I have a friend who is addicted to coffee, you know? She drinks coffee she drinks like, let's say, like four or five cups of coffee every day. Can you believe that? And that is affecting her health. So she has to cut down, okay, anything at the moment. So cut down is when you start decreasing the consumption, yes? 
So one day is five cups of coffee. The second day is four cups of coffee. Okay. The third day is three and that's it. Okay, so that is to cut down anything or cut down on anything uh, in, in, in this month, okay? That is a very important uh, verb for healthy and unhealthy habits, okay? Very nice. So let's go into the grammar, what we wanted to see from the beginning, okay? So we have different uh, types of expressions, yes, or tenses to talk about food. And that is the present simple or the present continuous. Okay. Uh, one moment. Okay, no problem. So, the present simple. Things that are always true. Uh, reality, yes. I am Oscar. He is Italian. They are lawyers. We always eat lasagna on Fridays. That is reality, okay. The things that happen regularly, okay? So you talk about um, uh, frequency. Like I, sometimes I eat um, vegetarian food. I never eat, uh, I never eat pig, for example, okay? So that's, that's what you do. The present simple is also used with adverbs of frequency, yes, always, never, sometimes. So remember the percentages that we mentioned. And you use a present simple with specific verbs. There are in English some specific mental verbs. The name of these verbs could be mental verbs, could be non-action verbs, or stative verbs. Okay, we're going to see them uh, in, in one moment. Okay. And the difference with the present continuous is that you use the present continuous with things that are happening now. Yes, like right now in this moment, I am teaching you something in this moment. You are mm, craving an ice cream right now, okay, because it is very hot, etc. Okay. And things that are temporary so when i say something temporary i am talking about let's say a period of a week could be okay a week so for example i can say i am i am working late this week. Ah, well. You see, I am talking about something temporary there. Okay, so I can use the present continuous. Remember that the present continuous is the one with uh, the verb to be as an auxiliary and the main verb with ing, etc. But it is not only used for, let's say, like in this exact moment, you can additionally, you can use it with temporary things, okay? Like I am working late this week, okay? Or I am not having lunch today, okay? It's something temporary, only for one day or one week maximum, okay? Good. So let's see, let's see what are these mental verbs, these uh, stative verbs. They are very important uh, for simple present, okay? Erase this, there you go. Okay, so as I told you, you can say non-action verbs, mental verbs, or stative verbs. They are only used with simple present, okay? So there are, let's say, many, but I would say that they, those are the verbs that are with some, let's say, mental things, things that you cannot see, all right? Actions that you cannot see. 
we have different uh, categories for these verbs. Like for example, emotional state, yes. I care, hate, love, mind, prefer, surprise, want, yes, astonish, etc. We also have verbs, the, the steady verbs, which are mental states. Okay, so for example, believe, forget, mean, remember, understand. We also have possession. Okay, so the verbs that have possession are stated verbs. Yes, belong, have, own, etc. You also have verbs that, have, that are related to sense, to perceptions, to the senses, yes, like feel, hear, see, okay, taste, smell, okay, know. And we also have non-action non verbs of additional uh, verbs like appear, look, contain, seem, sound, etc. Okay, so... Let's say that uh, this is something that we just have to memorize. Yes, you know that in, there are some elements in language that you, we just memorize. We have to memorize that this is one of them, okay? But I would say, and I repeat, that these verbs are the ones that you don't see the action, okay? But the person feels this, okay? All right, good. But uh, there are some verbs from this category that can be used with present simple and present continuous, okay? And they change, okay? They change the meaning, the use of them, okay? And these verbs are be, see, think, and have, okay? So let's explain them. So look, you have the verb to be, yes, the verb to be. When you use the verb to be with simple present, let's say, okay, let's make a line here. Okay. So when you use the, the, ver the verb to be with simple present, you say, for example, she is, let's say, she is shy, okay, for example. And uh, when I say see, she is shy with simple present, simple present, here okay when we are saying she is shy with simple present is because this is part of her personality this is her personality she is normally shy okay so we say that this is related to the personality but if i use the verb to be with the present continuous the meaning is different so for example i say she is being shy. Mm -hmm. Do you understand shy? Um, uh, she. <sighs> yes? Yes. Okay, good. Can you please tell us what is shy, uh, Laura? Um, Translate it to Italian. Uh, um, the opposite of uh, outgoing. <laughs> Very good, yes. So, but so I don't know. <laughs> no, yes, that's right. That's right. So, uh, a shy person is that I don't like to talk. I feel bad if I speak. I feel mm. bad. Okay, that is that is shy. All right, I am very silent. I don't like to talk. Different from someone who feels comfortable speaking in public. Yes, good. So let's go back to the point. Um, she is being shy, so it's not her personality, it's an attitude that she has in this moment, okay? It's like she's acting, right? 
this person is acting okay but it doesn't mean that is her personality here we use a simple present to talk about the reality so she is shy that is part of her personality and she is being shy is an attitude that she has okay something obviously temporary okay so here is the present continuous okay good let's see another verb okay the verb think okay, let's go with think so when you of the verb think with simple present is different from the present continuous. For example, simple present, I am going to say, I think I am, I, no, I think she is very intelligent. This is an opinion that I have. Yes, this is an opinion that I have about her. Okay, is the reality? Okay, nothing is going to change that. I think she is an intelligent person. Okay, it is an opinion that I have. And it's different when I use it with present continuous. I say, I'm thinking about buying new clothes. So when I use think with ing forms, it means that I have a plan. Yes, I have a plan. It's not an opinion. It is a plan. Okay. So take this into account. All right. This is a plan. All right. And let's go with the last um, important part, which is the verb see okay so the verb see when you use it in simple present form like for example i see my students in the class yes i see yes i i am using my sense my sense of sight, okay? So I see my students in the class, okay? So this is related to the sense of seeing something, okay? To the sight. Here you go. Okay, and when I use C with ING forms, it's different. I'm seeing a boy okay so this one is related it's connected not to to see the person with your eyes no it, this is related to dating someone yes dates are we familiar with the uh, dating yes dates it's when you have a date with someone because this person it is a possibility that he or she is going to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Yes, that is a date. It's like a romantic thing here. Okay. So it's different. You see, it's very different when I use the, ver the verb see with present simple, which is related to the sense of sight, and the uh, verb with present continuous, which is more like a romantic situation, okay? And this is a normal expression, uh, especially in American English, okay? But you have to know the difference, okay? So you can, you maybe don't make a mistake because maybe the people will think, uh, will not understand what you're saying, yes? Okay, is it clear? Yes, it perfect. Is. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so take this into account. Okay, uh, the, these verbs uh, for um, the present continuous. Okay, uh, the verbs 
that are for mental states, the uh, non-action verbs that are used for simple present. Obviously, for the present continuous, you use action verbs. So action verbs are the other verbs, like, for example, jump or eat, all right? Those normal verbs that we have. So let's make, let's make some uh, a practice here, final practice. Uh, this exercise is taken from English file uh, intermediate level book, third edition, this exercise. Okay, so we're going to see uh, this sentence here. We have to select the correct form. So what are you studying? Humanities, okay? So let's see what do you think is the answer for this uh, exercise. Let's continue with uh, the next sentence with Pavel, please, Laura. I'm uh, doing a fine arts. Mm -hmm. where, where do you come from? Perfect. Very good. I'm doing fine arts. Yes. Where do you come from? Yes. It's not are you coming from. Where do you come from? Very good. Now, let's continue with you, Marcia. Uh, uh, I, I have to read uh, Elvira or Pavel. Okay, I will read Elvira for you. El I'm El from Madrid in Spain. Continue, please. Okay. And um, how many hour, hours of classes do you have a week? <laughs> do you have a week? The verb have is a verb that you can also use it in both tenses. When you use it with a simple present, you are talking about possession, yes? But when you use it with present continuous, you are talking about having fun. Just like when you're in a, in a party, yes? And you say, hey, I'm having fun. That's when you use have with ing, okay? Let's continue with uh, Elvira, all right? Continue, please, Tiziana. Uh, it depends uh, on the week, uh, but usually about 20 hours. Mm -hmm. um, do you know about the party tonight? Mm -hmm. Do you know about the party tonight? Excellent. Let's continue with you, Gabriele. Are you continue. meaning the, the one for new students? I okay, it's, it, it's, excuse me. This one is better if you use the present, uh, the present simple. Okay. Do you mean? Okay. Do you mean the one for new students? Mm -hmm. I can go because I get ready to move into my flat tomorrow. Okay. This verb get. Okay. This verb get. Get ready, especially, is an action verb. Okay. Ah, okay, because you can because you can see, you can see that the person is getting ready. Okay, mm -hmm. remember when you see something, when you see something is maybe is an action verb. Okay, it is a high possibility. So it's I'm getting ready. I'm getting okay. I'm getting ready. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Let's continue. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Else we have here today with us. <coughs> yes, I'm so concerned. Uh, nope, no, there are no more people. Okay, we're going to continue with Laura again, please. Oh, what are you leaving at the moment? Okay, yes, because we have at the moment. So, yes, uh -huh. where are you living at the moment? Uh, let's continue with you, Marcia. Um. Uh, I stay in a student hotel. So it says... No, I am uh, staying. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that is another thing in the grammar exercises, okay? You have to see the question. Generally, if the question is in present continuous, maybe the answer is in present continuous, too, okay? Okay. So yes, I'm staying. And let's go to the final part. Tiziana, please. Um... What do you do on Saturday afternoons? Mm -hmm. uh, if you, if you uh, 
Uh, if you want, uh, we could meet uh, and uh, look around the city. Okay. If you want, we could meet and look around the city. So these these words like like, want, hate, they you never use them with ing. Those are non-action verbs. Okay. Good. So that was uh, that was a practice. Just uh, my recommendation is for you to continue practicing the non-action verbs until you memorize them, and then you will know how to when to use present simple and when to use present continuous. Okay. Okay, okay guys. So it was a pleasure to have you here today. I will see you in our next session, all right? I hope that you have liked it and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye, -bye. Bye. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. See you next week. Let's hope so, yes. Maybe next week or maybe in 15 days. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you in the WhatsApp group, so don't worry, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.